Hi guys, today we're going to talk about Harry and his book. And I'm going to talk about a comment I read on, you know, the comment section on the Daily Felt. It's a comment from someone who understood quite well Prince Harry's intentions, right? And uh, what it's important to talk and write the way he did about his life. This is what the person says. I hope that the person is not going to come after me if I say his um, username. It's homeboy from United Kingdom. And he says... Whether you like him or love him, he is the product of his upbringing and has emerged from the controlling and strange family world that is the monarchy, its PR machine and its relationship with media. I believe this is his way of setting the record straight with regards to his military record, his childhood, admitting to drugs and going off the rail and relationship with the family as an institution, etc., gets it all out there. The media have their feeding frenzy for a couple of weeks until they have nothing else to say. And he gets quietly on with his life. Hopefully, the monarchy and its institution will have a long, hard look at itself, as well as consider how it exploits and damages the lives of the children born into the system. You see? So this is really telling. This is on the point on what Prince Harry is doing. He wants his version out there so that it will be printed in time, stuck in time. So whatever they say, the media say about his life, people always go back and say, no, he said this. And also, it's a way of trying to save the next generation, to ask the British royal monarchy to do something, to change in order to save a new breed of royals coming, such as like Prince George and... Uh, his sister and brother. So it's something that's going to benefit them as well. The system needs to change. Buckingham needs to stop talking with the tabloids. Stop throwing one person to the walls to save their future king. So if it's something that was done years and years ago, centuries ago, now it's not possible to do it because the person that they're destroying the life of is a human being. In this case, it was Prince Harry, before it was Margaret, before that it was another person. It was never Prince Andrew, because Prince Andrew, it seems that people were scared of talking about him. He was scaring people, so he was never, you know, manhandled the way Margaret and Harry were, talking about all the rumors and stuff like that, right? And it was never a real threat from Prince Charles because they were two different people and he had no real claim to the throne. Basically, Prince Andrew didn't have any shine, right? And maybe when he was younger, he was good looking, but Prince Charles was always the star before Diana. So there was no need to, you know, compete with him because anyhow, he was just the third child he had Anne before him so anyhow so yeah, I completely agree with the comment let me know what you think hope you like the video feel free to click on like if it's the case subscribe for more videos and click on the notification bell to be notified when I post a new video thank you